Good to see you one and all. God bless you. God bless you. My name is Brother Thomas and I will be your Sunday school teacher today. Good to see you. God bless you. Today's lesson we're going to learn about the jailer who followed Jesus. The jailer who what? Followed Jesus and her. Scripture is from the book of Saint. Uh, no, not Saint. The book of Acts. 16th chapter and I also remember verses from the 16th chapter verse 15 and said we must tell everyone about the good news we must tell everyone about the good news or you could say tell everyone about the good news and what's the good news the good news is that Jesus Christ is the what the son of God and believe on him and you shall be saved yes believe on the lord and you shall be saved believe in jesus and you shall be saved and our memory verse remember i said that's our memory verse is from the book of acts and our scripture also is from the book of acts we're in this lovely bible that we learn everything that we learn here in sunday school is from what the bible always oh, spell bible b i b l E. Let's spell Bible again. One, two, three. B I B L E. Everything that we learn here in Sunday school is from the Bible. So, which lovely, which bright student could tell me where Acts is found in the Bible? In the front or in the back? Let's give it one more time. In the front or in the back? Oh, yes. Acts is found in the back of the Bible and it's in the New Testament. So everyone that says in the back, give yourself a big and yay. Yay, give yourself a big and a big round of applause. And there is something I always say we do with the Bible. What we do? We must always read it daily. When we read the Bible daily, what becomes a part of us? And when the Bible comes a part of you, you will love it. And when you love it, you know what? You tell others about it. You tell others about the good news of Jesus Christ. Okay, yes. Do you love to sing, boys and girls? I love to sing, but I cannot sing well enough. Because, But I love to sing. And today, we're going to say, we sing our song and clap our hands and stamp for our feet. This is how we praise the Lord. Yes, we clap our hands and stamp our feet. Stamp our feet. Stamp our feet. We clap our hands and stamp our feet. This is how we praise God. In our text, remember, we said the scripture and, and our, our topic is the jailer who followed Jesus. What was the topic again? The jailer who followed Jesus. So in our lesson, there was Paul and Silas. They was out doing the work of the God. They was telling the good news of the Lord. And you know what? Some people did not like what they were doing. So they get Paul and Silas to be arrested. And when they was arrested, they put them in jail. What they put Paul and Silas in where? In jail because there was talking and they was talking about the good news of Jesus Christ. So Paul and Silas, while they was in jail, they did not care whether it was night, midnight. They did not care whether, whether it was cloud or 
or whether it's time to go to sleep, they start to sing a song to the Lord. They start to sing a song to the Lord. And while they were singing good song to the Lord, the other prisoners, the other that that was locked up also they listened to paul and silas what they do to paul and silas they listened to paul and silas and suddenly you see there was a shaking there was a shaking there was a shaking there was a shaking and what happened while there was a shaking the, the all the stocks all the the bonds break off and fell to the ground yes all their bands fell off and while all their bands fell off the the the, the jailer wake up because he was fast asleep. Remember Paul and Silas, what they was doing? They was singing and there was a great, a great shaking and all the bands fell off. And while the bands fell off, the jailer wake up and he, he, he thought that all the prisoners was escaped or they was gone. But Paul shouted, we are all here. What Paul said, we are all here. And when the jailer looked, he saw all the prisoners were still there. He saw Paul and Silas were still there. And he, he, he bowed down and he said to Paul and Silas, what shall I do to be saved? What he asked Paul and Silas, what shall I do to be saved? Yes, he asked Paul and Silas, what shall I do to be saved? But what Paul and Silas said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shall be saved and that's the good news and also Paul is trying to tell them that Jesus is the son of God Jesus what Jesus is the son of God and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be what saved if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ you shall be be saved so the jailer believes believe and and the jailer and his old family were baptized the jailer and his old family were baptized and the jailer and his old family were what baptized and they bring paul and silas to their house and they make a dinner and then it was merry so the jailer believed on the lord jesus christ through Paul and Silas singing. Why right? the jailer believed in the Lord Jesus Christ and were baptized him and his family through Paul and Silas singing. So you young boy, you young girl, you can sing and song unto the Lord. You could clap your hands, you could lift your hands, and you could praise the Lord. Remember, Jesus loved the little children. All the children of the world, whether yellow, black, and white, Jesus loved them all. We could sing that song, and we know that Jesus loves you. Now God bless you, and I will see you next time. I love you, and God bless you. And remember our golden text. What the golden text says? Tell the good news to everyone. What's the golden text said? Tell the good news to everyone. And what's the good news? Jesus is the Son of God. What's the good news? Jesus is the Son of God. And believing on him, you shall be saved. So you could sing, you could be merry, and you could be happy when you do the will of the Lord. When you do the work of God. God bless you. I love you. And I will see you next time. I will see you next time. We sing our song and clap our hands. Clap our hands. Clap our hands. We sing our song and clap our hands. This is the way we praise the Lord. We clap our hands. And we stamp our feet. Stamp our feet. This is the way we praise God. God bless you.